Hey guys, it's Mesme, and in this video, I'm going to be answering some questions for you. However, it's not any regular questions. It's kind of some personal ones that are probably gonna come back and bite me in the ass in the future. So let's start our video. So one of the questions I have gotten asked a lot, especially by relatives, is when are you going to have kids? This is not from my direct family. Um, this is from relatives that I don't really know. Uh, I've been asked, when are you going to have kids? Um, a lot of them already have children. They had them very young. So I'm kind of offended by that question because these people don't really know me. And I have decided that I don't really want kids. I know in the past I said that I, I did want kids, but at this point in my life, I don't want any at all. I do enjoy my sleep. I enjoy the money I make or I made. Um, and I just love traveling. I don't really see myself being a mother anytime soon or maybe in the future. So yeah, I don't really know why that question is asked a lot. Um, let me know if you have been asked that question. Um, I, that's the one that I, I really don't like is when are you going to have kids? Why don't you have kids already? I mean, I'm 25. I don't know if I'm supposed to be having kids already or not. But yeah, I, I find that question very offensive. So when am I going to have kids? I don't know and I don't really want them. The second question I've gotten by a lot of people, and this happened a lot in Mexico, is why don't you marry a Mexican? Why does it have to be a Korean man? Well, guys, that's just what happened. I fell in love with a Korean guy, and that's it. I mean, we get along very well. We're doing fine. Um, I just feel offended because they say, why a Korean? As if that is a bad thing. So, yes there have been some bad experiences with Korean guys but at least for now I'm, I'm happy I'm fine I'm with a nice guy I'm with a good guy so these questions don't really make me upset I'm just kind of like why would you even ask that that's so dumb um, but yeah why are Korean it just happened guys I am not anybody's slave and I am not owned by anybody so I don't understand why Mexican people get so offended that I am dating a Korean guy. I'm not being stolen by anyone. It is my choice to be with that person. So calm down, guys. The next question I get asked is, do you see yourself living in Korea for the rest of your life? And the answer is absolutely not. Um, Korea was a, a great experience. Um, I will be returning soon. However, I never felt like I was at home. And I also felt like I was never really accepted as a member of society. I'm gonna be honest and say that my experience in Korea was like half-half. It was half good and half like crappy. Yes, Korea has awesome technology, great food, a lot of things to do, but I'm never going to have the house I wanted, the car, the dog. So I, I want to like an all-American family it doesn't really matter where it's something very important to me because in korea i cannot own a house because it's so expensive i think the minimum for one of those houses is like four hundred thousand dollars i don't have that kind of money my plan was to either build my own tiny home or buy something you know that ranges like a hundred thousand dollars i don't know it doesn't really matter like i want it doesn't matter if it's an old house i just want to own my own house i want to have my own space and in Korea, I just never owned that space. I was always, uh, the school provided that for me or I rented my own place, but it was never mine. It's also hard to have a dog in Korea because it's just a very small country. I'd like a yard for my dog to run around. So yeah, I don't really see myself living in Korea for the rest of my life. It's just, it's not my home and it's never going to be my home. I've accepted that not as a negative way, it's just, I just don't want to and there's nothing wrong with that. The next personal question I've been asked is how many Korean men have you dated? I'm not going to tell you the number because I don't even know. I mean, I don't... Oh gosh, I mean I have like this weird selective memory where a lot of things in my past like in high school, I kind of like left them behind. I don't remember names of the people I was friends with in high school. I just moved on very quickly. And I move on very quickly from certain things. So I have gone out with other Korean men. I've, I have dated other Korean men. I just don't even remember their names or I don't even remember the experience dating them. Also, I don't like to talk about it that much because of course, one, I don't remember and two, it's not really appropriate because 
I am in a relationship and I don't want to make my partner uncomfortable. If he were to be talking about an ex, I would definitely feel uncomfortable, so out of respect. But yes, I have dated other Korean men. But if you mean like be in an actual long-term relationship, more than three months, I would say no. Um, my current boyfriend, we've been dating for almost four years, so that's the only one that's been an actual boyfriend. Okay, another really weird question that I've been asked, and this actually happened on a radio show that I was on as um, like a guest, they were interviewing me. They asked, how do Korean men kiss? And I thought that was, okay, that, first of all, that was awkward because my parents were listening to the, to the live show. Um, and second of all, they kiss like any other person. I mean, everybody kisses differently. Um, yes, there are people that try to eat your face when they're kissing, and then there's others that just give you little pecks, and then there's others that kiss very well. That's all I'm going to say because it's really awkward and my parents are watching this, so... I guess the fact that because they are Korean makes it more exotic and makes people wonder. This is not much of a question, but it's much of a really odd comment that a lot of my Latina friends have received, the ones that are married or dating a Korean, and that is, wow, your boyfriend or your husband is so cold on camera, he doesn't love you, it's not gonna last. Okay, it doesn't make me mad or anything. Um, it actually makes me laugh because what people are seeing is is just only four minutes of, of our lives. Um, also, just to clear up, a lot of um, my friends' husbands or or boyfriends, they're just awkward um, on camera, but they're very nice people. Um, they don't mind the camera. It's just that if you notice, it's the girl's YouTube. It's it's my YouTube. And I mean, it, it doesn't mean that they have to appear in it necessarily. My boyfriend is more like, eh, he doesn't care if he's being filmed. He just likes to observe. It's not it doesn't mean that he's cold or that he's a jerk or that he doesn't love me. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the most, uh, I think that one's the, the weirdest comment that I've ever received. And not only me, but other people. I feel like that it's more jealousy. I don't know why people get so offended that I'm dating a Korean. I think it's absolutely racist. Um, I've been mostly attacked by my own people, my own race. Um, I've actually gotten a lot of support from the younger generation of Korean people, mostly it's been a lot of attacks from Latinos um, saying, what do you see in that person, uh, in that Korean person? So I think that's just absolutely racist. Anyways, yeah, these comments don't really bother me. It's just, um, yeah, I just wanted you to see a little bit about my thoughts on these comments and these questions. I don't really take them seriously. These were a couple of the odd questions that I've been asked. I just don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna have kids. And no, I just don't want to live in Korea for the rest of my life, you know? I love tacos. I would love to live in Mexico. Um, Texas is cool, you know? There's nothing to do, but this is this is where I grew up. I love hanging out in my room. I wish I could live in my room for the rest of my life. That's just me. And there's nothing wrong with not wanting to live in an, another country for the rest of your life. You know, I, I think I matched better with Japan. It would be nice to live there, but not for the rest of my life either, you know? I hope that you enjoyed this random video of the top questions and comments that I've gotten that have made me just think like, are you serious? So yeah, anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye.